What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you back to some more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we saw Monokuma finally! Yes, we're here for it. We missed him. His presence is needed. Arguably more needed than Nekamaru because Nekamaru just makes me like blush and like go crazy. But honestly, for plot purposes and for commentary purposes, we do need him too. But everyone else looked the same. Yes, shocked. We all had a t this tired expression on our pale faces. Well, what just happened? Uh, um. That's it. That's all there is to it. It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? Possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mono beasts, or whatever they're called, are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it must mean someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Me. Hey, who is it? Who? Uh... <laughs> uh, it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway, but there's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop and think uh, think about this and just eat. Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I do not mind. However, remember this. I do not know who in this world is orchestrating this, but we do need to be cautious of those machines, or even of whoever's controlling them. We do not need to be. More than anything, we must be cautious of each other. Oh, ourselves, not even each other. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. Okay. Is he actually Biakia? Because that sounds like somebody that would be experienced. We look around at each other's faces. It is obvious from looking at one of the others. One looking from it was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that that was also a potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that killing may never occur, but. I am in, even I'm no different. So I can only be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen. No, there's no way I can know for sure. There is a nightmare of a situation. I don't have the confidence to say outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held more mag more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day filled with despair. And that was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun. And this tropical island was at the stage. Wow. I could have waited three minutes and we would have been... Okay. Good job, me. But hey, we can watch this now, I think. Because it's giving us this now. So it's going to be pretty much spoiler free from here. I would hope. You better be. If you're giving us this. Monokuma and Monami. Oh, are you going to get the same animation for Class Trials? I'm, I'm down with that. Hi, man. Chiaki. Sonia. Akane. Gundam. Kazuichi, Kazuichi. Mahiru. Taylor Teru. Oh, and we got the same elevator scene. Okay. Nagito. Nekamaru. Ibuki. Peko. The Mono Beasts. 
Mikan, Fuhiu, Fuhiro, Biakia, Prologue. Welcome to Dangan Island Panic School Trip. A heart or a panic at the heart throbbing school trip end. Surviving students sixteen. Fifth from the left student better not die. Fifth from the right, excuse me. Fifth from the right. To be continued. I really could have waited like the five minutes. Good job, me. We obtained a present. We finished the prologue. Murderous marooning. Yes, we saved the pr progress. We entered chapter one. Rule 5. Once a murder takes place, a clash trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the blackened is exposed during the clash trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward for the surviving blackened will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. A body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people have discovered a body for a first time. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate the island on your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added if your headmaster's discretion. With your headmaster's discretion. I raised my head from the heat e handbook with a heavy sigh. I saw a dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the beach, paralyzed with a thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There's no way I could believe that this that this was now my reality. Even so, it was undeniably real. No matter how much I wanted to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that should could not be more difficult from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, and going for walks, going to school, riding in the train, lectures, that kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the, glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. And they looked as if they were more about to fall into my hands like a fluttering snow. And for the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky, I had grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. <clears throat> the student who murders their class classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. This kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual life, but... Chapter 1. Designation... Or Destination Despair. So it's officially night time. be confusing if you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer. Then it sucks to be you. Facts. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. <gasps> oh, for each of us. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought we were opening up the cottage. One of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. Before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Yes. Oh my God, we are standing in the spot where I met Nekamaru. Let's go. Definitely. <gasps> what? Oh 
What did I do? Did I kill it already? <laughs> Oops! It's fine. It's fine. That definitely probably matters a lot. But it's okay, right? Like, this is my room. I knew it was my room to begin with. That's kind of funny. I called that. Cottage. Hayame Hinata. Damn it. As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? I screamed silently to myself. I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore, except for ne Nekamaru. But I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear the dumb rule you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. A scream erupted from my mouth. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Why me? Why do I have to go through with, with this? Ugh. I began to lose my voice, and it faded not it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. Not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As the waves were murmuring into my ears, there is no longer the world you knew. Once again, I buried my hand in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep only, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With his meager expectations, I fell the light, to a light sleep. Monica with Thede! It's our first one of the second game. Ahem! To those of you who have purchased Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. Thank you so very much. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair from a friend, however, you always risk losing your friends when you borrow their things, and so you should just buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give you a keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself into this heart-throbbing action so you're to your heart's content. Now then. Seven AM. Hope Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. So it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess I should go outside. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're not allowed to go out. Monokuma, well, why are you here? No way. Hey, you now, don't be worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons. Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself. I made too many. But I thought it would just be a waste of time to throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. They're all scattered over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. What, why do I have to do something like that? Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in your room, and I won't let you get out until you find it. Well. Good luck. Damn it. That selfish stuffed animal. Um... The bed is pretty comfortable. What is this? It looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't put anything here. This room has a lot of windows. They probably wanted it to feel like tropical and open. Well, this really isn't a great time or a good a time to be grateful for that. Oh, there it is. Hi. Huh? You've, ob You've obtained a hidden monokuma. Got ten mono coins for it. Good job. I've always left you. I also left you some mono coins. I'm so generous. 
These coins are to be exchanged with fabulous items at the beach, the rocket proof or rocket bunch, rocket bunch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best to look for them. If you find them all, surprise, surprise. Well, what? Never mind. I should just go. Okay, so this is my Monokuma display then, and all the Monokumas I find get split on here. My guess is there's twenty. Twenty-five? Oh, no. Kazuichi, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. Hey. Uh, by the way, did you s see them? Damn it. Oh, man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh. The bridge, you know? Remember that bridge to the central island? Did something happen to it? No, why the hell else would I be here? For those monsters are in front of the bridges, and they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters, they're mono beasts. Oh my god, it's here! Oh, cool. The mono beasts are just the guardians of the Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't go ignoring the progression by the, going to the other islands. If those monsters are as gatekeepers, it better... It's better if we don't get close to them. Ugh, so annoying. I can't stand anyone. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We were gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey, what is with all that noise? Another mama monster! And I came all this way to get you both, but if you're gonna call me a monster... Eh, you're here to get us. I was told... I was told to come get you because we, you kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant, so hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it. Ugh, whatever, man. I, I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here. Okay. Hey, what are you go where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Yes, we will head over to the restaurant. Pronto. Do our due diligence. <laughs> You're late, Hayame. Or Hajime. And where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh, where? Well, I, he pretty much said he was running away, but. But. We're running. But, but, but where? There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However, However after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is completely understandable. Huh? Eh, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, I looked away. It looked totally fake anyway. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all of this if I could just deny that outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? Not yet. Not until Kazuyuchi arrives. Ah, uh, wait a second. This means y the reason you told us to come here is... Ah, uh, apparently Majir Byakia has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna do it. Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. There, there's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some Anything is possible with the fighting spirit. Let me tell you A bold this. boast, but uh, however, let me give you, give you some advice. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, 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 hey let's start talking already. Uh, this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Everyone, when everyone is here, then we can start talking. Ah, oh, geez, fine. I'll bring Kazu Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here. Even if I have to tie him up. Hmm, I'm getting a little jealous though now. Getting tied up by Mrs. Mahiru. Maybe I should run away too. Just kidding. Disgusting moron. Agreed. Now then, let's have some breakfast while we wait for everyone. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. 
Um, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. And they even have crab and shrimp and... Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly stuttering face. My ugly st stuttering face? Whoa. That's it. That's the face right there. Well, why, well, why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh, I, oh, I got it. Teratero is preparing this food, right? Hmm, unfortunately it wasn't me. You see, the food I make just doesn't taste as shitty as this. This is bad? It tastes yummy to me! That, that, just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy should be considered shit. In fact, I'm comparing them, comparing them is even out of the question. Comparing my dishes to the lowly peasant food? How rude! Hey, don't take it so personally, man. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What, what does that even mean? Food Wars type shenanigans, that's what it means. Well, done. well let's say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. No In fact, your oh my god, Terra Terra needs to die. Your, <laughs> your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pekka was wearing, for example. You, you creep. How did you even know that? He, he guessed correctly. Oh, well. However, if Tara Taro did not prepare this food, then who did is... Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That is why I'm eating... That's why I'm tasting it for poison. To make sure that it is safe for consumption. But you do not need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. Boy, hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, man. S -s -s Stop, don't pull... You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I want to go home already. Crash, clatter, boom. What the? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Mikan, I was I had a feeling this was going to happen to you. I'm sorry. Terror, Terror, stop. Mikan, are, are you okay? Uh, my head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head is definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond just being a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyways, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I am not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So finally it's starting. This took way too long. Listen. First, I have a question for all of you. The Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under this strange circumstances, what do you think we, we need that right now? Sh who the heck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do you, we need? We need food, sleep, obviously, right? No, no you've forgotten... You've forgotten about shit. <laughs> you know, that's fair. I mean, I can't blame Nekamaru for that. Which means the answer is are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Does anyone have a real answer? Could it be a, a bond? Bond? This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll ha be able to create hope that can overcome any despair. That is why, if we want to escape the island, we need to pr pr promise each other that we will work together. Oh. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? Uh, 
Ah, uh, I just figured that was kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. This must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule which will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it is impossible to face our enemies indivi as individuals under the circumstances that we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve is solidarity, not something as easygoing as optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is disciplined leadership, provided by the unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even a sports team needs captains, after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Okay, this is actually Biakia. Th this, there, this... I'm th this this is this is the true Biakia. Um I feel pretty solid in saying this is the actual Biakia now. Only the actual Biakia unless Biakia trained his son really well. Which could have happened. But I I think it's safe to say this is the actual Biakia now. Huh? Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey. Wait just a second. What, what is it? Jeez. What did you say? Just say, I don't care how you excuse it, but you're being too forceful. Deciding the leader all on your own, why does that have to do with you anyway? Who is more fit than to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent prodigy of the Tokami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I am telling you that your attitude of yours is too forceful. Mahiru, please wait. It is true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe that it's the leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but we can just... If we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No, no perish that thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have, have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Mm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> so reliable! Is it true he's reliable? It's true he's reliable, but... I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who would say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent prodigy to look down on us like we were bugs or something. Now then, let's move on. Let's move off on to the topic at hand for real this time. I have something to show you all, something to show us. Follow me. At, it's at Jabberwock Park, at the Central Island. Come on, follow me. After saying that so bluntly, Byakuya turned to the left of the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have mistaken made a mistake in choosing a, him as the leader. The everyone made similar complaints while followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Hotel lobby. Do not tell me you too. Huh? Me too. What are you talking about? Um, oh, Mrs. Mahiro asked me to take leadership position. Well, Biakia is being too forceful about leading us. Doesn't that raise a red flag? Please, Sonia, think about it again. Don't you think you should be the leader instead? Um, I am certain that I am ill-suited to be one. I... Furthermore... Though Byakuya may be forceful, I believe he has the qualities to be an effective leader. Huh? Uh, really? Please listen. Do you not remember what he said about being destined to stand above all others? He is truly attempting to fulfill, fulfill that destiny by the strength of his own will. <laughs> his impressive stature and physique is a testament to not his desire to be the ultimate affluent prodigy, no? Um. That is truly grand. I guess that is one way of looking at it. Hmm. When you put it like that, Sonia... It does sound kind of convincing. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry for being cushy on you, Sonia. No. No, it's simply a matter of real discretion. I'm sure the situation isn't going to change anytime soon. Well, the ultimate princess de decrees it. I guess Byakuya can be the leader. I better hurry and follow after Byakuya. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. 
The thing is, is like it tell the game. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That was dumb of me. The game tells me that I get ex like and I get experience for walking. So I'm unfortunately for you guys. Um, going to do it. I think my leveling up is important enough to... Oh, hi. Kazuichi. What are you doing? We should hurry over to the park. Didn't the same thing happen last time, too? Hi, Jime. How many times are you going to surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, we should hurry over to the park. Shut up. I'm going back to my room. Seriously, all of this is a big hassle. Oh, damn it. Seriously, if we were on a tropical paradise, then we would be are in a situation... Well, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Relax. S sipping... Sip... Snapping won't, at me won't change a thing, okay? Hajime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? They're coconuts, damn it. I saw big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're going to have ourselves a some coconut juice. You can't just will coconut, a coconut open. Just give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. Ugh, you don't understand. I'm fine. Fine. Be that way. I'm never going to ask you for your help again. He left. I am going... I hope he sees straight to the park. Or goes straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. Oh, that's like a bomb. Hello? For skinny people, you are awfully slow. Um, it seems you are just too fast for us. Uh, Jeez, I never expected Fatso like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Here. Really? Hmm. If you haven't noticed yet, then I was right to dismiss y'all for idiots. The timer. Well, what is that? 21 days, 3 hours, 42 minutes, and 8 seconds, continuing to count down. Okay. It's like, um, Naked and Afraid. You have to survive for all 21 days, you know? And, uh, you know, I would definitely do that with Nekamaru. What? No, didn't say anything. It's obviously an out-of-place object, placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? What's this here? When we came last time... No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I found it this morning when I was exploring the one island the island one more time. It is unknown when it was actually placed here. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does the countdown timer even mean? Mm, I have no clue. Mm, once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe that this is happening. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Nekamaro, it, it's definitely a bomb. A b b b bomb If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done it so by now. There's no need for the countdown. Then, then, then what are they counting down? It's a mystery. Right? A mystery, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Monomi. What? Why are you here? I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um, n n not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you're surprised. <laughs> hey, you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. I see. You must be an undead abomination, risen from the fourth steps, or foulest depths of the netherworld by black magic. Uh -huh. huh. Do you want me to make you my thrall? Monomi's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she only need she's she'd only need like a spare or something. A spare? What do you mean? What a mean thing to say. However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. What is the meaning of the timer in this countdown? Answer me. Huh? Countdown. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm I'm sorry, I I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't really have a grasp on what Monokuma's up to. 
You don't even know what your Monokuma's- Your Monokuma's little sister! He, I'm not my brother's little sister! Did she accept the role or not? Which is it? Anyways, I will do our best! Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island! If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, let's... together. I'm sorry. Um, um, perhaps you were being a little too harsh. I am starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonia, may I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. There is no need to feel sorry for that thing. She obviously is working with Monokuma. Hey, Who the heck cares about the stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. It looks ominous, doesn't it? But who puts that object here? And how did they do it in just one night? Hmm. I can't imagine. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. However, that's not all that unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries we can't begin to imagine. For example, how did it were 16 of us brought into this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he's right. That is a mystery. There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being the popular resort destination, now uninhabited island? There is no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. It is something like that is is something like that even possible? This too must be the will of All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. So, so it collapsed. You are right. Society m is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. So our, as the economy grows, the private sector stagnates, and the, as the elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful, and as time passes, this power becomes a status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. Such a sad trend. Hmm. I don't really understand all of that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. Maybe the Mono Beast killed everyone on this island! And how? And that's how it became uninhabited? That is a possibility, but... We don't know that for sure. The mystery remains a mystery, it seems. Ugh, it's everything else here, just full of mysteries. You're right. If it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since the mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt there's no name group. There's some no name group behind this. But what are you trying to say? I mean, the situation would be undeniably be the work of an enormous organization. An enormous organization. Mono me, Monokuma, the Mono Beasts, all the machines that require magical technical skill to operate. Plus, they need a ton of funding, and there's no way that those things were just made for the hell of it. In other words, that organization might be controlling the machines and the monitoring the island with the, those cameras. Same. Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not, possible. Not likely. There's probably running this from a software somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all of this. I see. Big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. Well, let's see. There's My Togami Corporation, Sonia's Novelistic Kingdom, and the Kuzi, or Kazuryu Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hold on, I don't care about the Kazu Kazuryu clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Mrs. Sonia. Mrs. Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, shut up already, loser. Whoa. Loser? Are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're an actual loser. <laughs> it's hard to make me make your living in a lame-ass loser industry. Too far, dude. Way too far. Hey, Biakia. Were you being serious just now? This is things related to your family or and Sonia and such? Hmm. I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying that they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However. Even if such organizations exist, why would they make us go through something like this? Whatever. How long are we going to take talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Our enemy's purpose is still unknown, but as long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So what we must do is find our enemy. If we can do that, we'll be 
that much of closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e-handbook, we are free to explore the island. There will definitely be a clue about our enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. All right, let's get this crap done. Um, what are we looking for? Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that'll tell us who our enemy is. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. They are... <laughs> they are destined to fall from and turn to ash at the might of my four dark divas of destruction. Wow, wow those hamsters are... That came out of your scarf. Tee-hee-hee. <laughs> They're so adorable. Adorable, you say? Thank you. Oh my god, I called it. 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 <coughs> so for those who don't know, um, I stream this to like with some of my friends in the call because they get like first like reactions and stuff that's going on. And I literally said this. I was like, he kind of like, I said Gundam seems like the character that has that edgy rough exterior, but then he actually is like super caring on the inside. Yes! Judge a character on it. Woo! Oh my You're pretty happy about that, huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonia all casually. I'm definitely going to beat the crap out of him later. It's okay. He'll beat you up. I don't get it. In this tense situation, all we need to do is be a lot more cautious. And yet, I am relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It is strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? I am confident. Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to even have? Listen. Anyways, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your... Oh. Uh, that's like totally awesome <laughs> the right hand is uh, that right hand of him is so plump I have the perfect nickname for him ham hands, ham hands. you say hmm. Hmm. I never never thought of I'd say see the day when someone called me something like that huh why aren't you getting mad Naturally. why would I get mad at something as pretty as that she observed me directly and thought up a nickname there's nothing dishonest about a name like that. This is yeah. I mean, so he 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 dealt he literally dealt with Toko. Uh, this is not new to him to have a nickname. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this, though it may not seem ironic for me to realize that this is a particular situ peculiar situation. He's totally monologuing right now. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident, narcissistic jerk after all. Despite our situation, he mysteriously he's mysteriously calm. He might be a reliable person after all. Right. We should listen to Biakia and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It is true that we're not in the best situation, but it's not the worst. Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Whoa. Seriously? That's like so lame. I knew it. I was thinking to myself just how lame it sounded before saying it. Friends, huh? Until now? I never really thought about friendship and that sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I would have never thought about it in the situation. No, actually, it's more like because of the situation. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But with a losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'll be difficult to believe in them right away, but... It'll be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Hmm. If I started to think like that, doesn't it? Doesn't that show I'm making good progress? And it's nighttime now. No, it's still time. Now, now time. There's no reason to hole up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went and go went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. Free time. This is a great place to end it off. For you that, for guys that you guys that don't know, what free time is is something where I can spend time talking to the people that I want to talk to. Um, n you know, no, uh, no, uh, uh, no favorites given. Definitely no. Definitely can't do that. 
Uh, you'll obtain presents from the Mono Mono Yashin and the vending machine at the supermarket. Market. When you strengthen your friendship, an intimate of... Sorry. 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 I read intimate event and forgot that it could mean, like, in a friendship thing as well. And, like, that they're getting a deep connection with you, but in a different way. It's fine. It's whatever. I definitely didn't get my hopes up. In for 2.5 seconds. Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to Asami via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with somebody, the time will pass, and it, you will return to the cottage afterwards. After passing this time, passing time several times, your free time will end, and you will continue on to the main story. By the way, you can skip the free time event if you want by resting in the cottage in your bed. Although I really don't recommend it, please use it. If you want to just continue the main story right away. Yeah, this is a perfect place to end it. Cool. I get to, like, actually <clears throat> figure out who I want. No, 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 no. I get to figure out who I want to spend my free time with. Um, you know? Because it's great. We, we're here for it. I mean, you guys know one of them, okay? I'm hoping I get multiple, but I, you guys know one of them. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. And see you guys uh, with the start of our first free time in this new game. Bye!